Whoa. Almost ran him over. Okay. So a couple weeks ago, I got this camera, the GoPro Hero 8. Today, I want to put it to the real test and just document a day with it, only using the GoPro Hero 8. So I usually film on mostly this camera or this one, not today. So this past week, you may have noticed there was no upload and that wasn't by design. I actually had a video. The problem is the internet connection I have here is quite horrible. So I usually upload basically anywhere that has a better connection than here at home. And due to the quarantine, it was quite hard to do that. So I'm trying to transfer it to my phone, see if I can upload it today, which is Monday. And then you'll be seeing this video on hopefully on Thursday, Friday. COVID-19 stuff going on. It's affected my work schedule a little bit, but we are still an essential service at the school here, providing food and uh, work for the kids to do while they're home. So it's definitely less work, but it gives me a good opportunity to ride in, you know, work for a few hours and then Right back home. So over the weekend I changed. I found this stem on eBay. I had a Thompson X4 before, but it was a 70 millimeter. This is 90 millimeter with a 10 degree. I use it uh, negatively, so it's negative 10 degrees. And wow, this bike fits me like a glove now. 70 was a little bit too short. I felt like my back was getting crumbled up. So a little bit more extension, but not too much. It's great right now. I have to change my gloves to these guys. Hands are the first thing to get cold in my body. So, and I learned my lesson a couple weeks ago when I had to buy new gloves that were honestly poor quality gloves, but I was just not prepared. So now until it's well warm, I will pack these gloves. They are cozy. Oh yeah. Sorry about the sniffles too. It's still a little cold here, so. just what happens when you ride a bike.
I just got done with work. Just got to pick up some screws here at the store. Now it seems the beginning is just like the end. This guy got it right. How's it going? <laughs> and I can't change it. Everything I learn, I just unlearn again. And spend a lifetime, spend a lifetime. stumped I'm deciding whether to stick on the gravel uh, the muddy gravel at that or just go off uh, and ride hill road either way it gets me home hill roads a little bit longer and it's hilly but the gravel looks tempting and it's been so long since I've ridden gravel my legs aren't used to gravel yet too it's uh, a lot trickier than road that's for sure a lot more power input into the legs so uh, I wish I had a coin, I would just do a coin toss. It's also really windy, the road is not gonna be much easier at this point. I think I'm gonna stick to the gravel. We'll see how it goes. I hope I made the right choice. Probably should have taken the road. I'll hop off at the next intersection. Like straight up chunks of snow that haven't melted. I hope I don't fall. Oop. Oop. Whoa. Falling trees. All right, this just feels like I'm riding in a, on a creek bed or something. What the heck am I supposed to do here? Oh, come on. Woo. Yeah, it's definitely not gravel time yet. This is usually the worst spot on the commute though. Oh gosh. I don't want to get my feet drenched. Yeah. Yeah. It's pretty bad. Oh. If you can see that, it's like six inches of water right now. It's ridiculous. Look at this little guy I found. Almost ran him over. All right, back on the road now. Oh, my feet are drenched, soaked. That's okay though. Things could be worse.
night, Katie. How's my neighbor? Just stop by the office real quick. Just getting home now. And it is time for lunch. I haven't eaten anything today, so I'm starving. I'm gonna go outside now, but before I do that, just wanted to say Rogue Panda makes a killer bag. I will hopefully be taking a look at this and doing a first impressions video this weekend. Right now, I gotta take the pup out. <laughs> come a long way since the last video but I'm catching up on all those video projects so don't worry you'll see where it is now you'll see that all documented in the van build series right now we're gonna go take Vita on a little ride <laughs> So that was it for this video guys, after building and working on the van, I uh, went to the sauna and then came back home and watched a movie with Jordan. But I left that out of the video because I thought it was already getting too long and I already had some good impressions on what this camera can do. Uh, it's definitely still an action camera for me. I don't necessarily like making videos 100% on this, I like the shallow depth of field that my bigger cameras offer. Yeah, what do you guys think? I think the uh, stabilization on this little guy is so incredible. Before I was using a GoPro Hero 5 with a gimbal and being able to, to just wear the GoPro without the gimbal and have the same sort of footage, it is a little less stable, I, I think, than with the gimbal. I am more than happy to give up that little bit of stability for, you know, just the ease of use. You just turn it on, and uh, mount it here to the chesty, give it a good angle, 
and then you're good to go. And then when you're ready to film other things, you just pop it off and you can film. So very easy to use um, and I'll definitely be using it for long gravel rides, gravel events, things like that, bikepacking. It's just so easy, small. I uh, probably won't be using this mic all the time, but for today, this is the exact setup that I used. So what do you guys think? Was, uh, was it good enough to make a video with? Uh, let me know in the comments below, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will see you in the next one. Till then, remember to stay stoked on spokes, and stay healthy. Wash your hands. That's all I got. See you next week.